you know, we look at, you know, the journey to an IPO as being not one in which the IPO was the destination. It was one step on a much longer uh, path towards uh, continued growth over time. And, you know, one stop along the way that helped fuel that journey um, was the IPO, because the IPO um, provided us with lots of capital um, that we can continue to use to invest and grow on our mission to create a stronger, uh, safer, and, and more secure digital advertising ecosystem. Uh, IPO was a pretty obvious route for us because of what that mission is all about. And that mission is driven by a, a drive to create greater transparency um, in the ecosystem. And what better way to represent transparency is to go public and make ourselves transparent, make our financials transparent, make our initiatives transparent, and to create that level of confidence in our business by being out there in the public market. Um, and, uh, and we think it's done that. Uh, we know that it's not only been a great way for us, I noted, for us to build capital, but also for us to build confidence in the business um, because we're very open and transparent as a public company with our financials, um, with our strategies, and, and with the, the drivers that will continue to allow us to be successful. Mark, uh, from Exley to Nielsen to Teleria, the Magnite merger, and now to Double Verify, what are some you know, key things that drive you and that, you know, that sort of sort of determine your course around building a company and creating value? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's interesting. I, I've been in the, uh, the digital space for over 20 years now, which is insane um, that we've even had an advertising technology space for that long. And one of the things that's made me, you know, so in love with this space is that it's always changing um, and there's always a new opportunity for growth. And the companies that I've been lucky enough to be part of have been ones I think that have been really at the forefront of what's been next. At Exalate, it was all about data and targeting at a time when prog uh, programmatic was really coming uh, of age. Uh, at Telaria, we led the, you know, the drive towards connected television and what was happening with connected television and programmatic. And here at DV, um, you know, we are now leading the charge uh, towards a more transparent and brand safe ecosystem um, for advertisers. Um, and that's exciting too. So I've had the opportunity to be involved with companies that we're at the forefront of growth of what's next. And um, that's been a great place to be. And, and that's what's kept me so engaged over all these years. So let me ask you, Mark, about starting up um, for the entrepreneurs who see opportunities. Um, what's some guidance you have in terms of um, getting help in terms of either merchant banking advice, uh, getting seed money, um, you know, what are, what are some, what are some best practices you'd like to share? Yeah. You know, when it comes to kind of building your business and bringing in others to help drive that, um, there's obviously the financial aspect of that. So you need capital to continue to grow, but, but money is, you know, I hate to say it, money's not easy, but money is plentiful. It's what comes with that money that's most important. And that's what you really need to consider is who is your partner that's both helping you bring that those new dollars in, that new capital in? Um, and, and what are they going to be after those dollars come in? Are they, are they there just to collect a fee and walk away? Or are they there to be partners with you over time? And I found that um, the banks or you know the, the consultants that really think for the long game they don't think about getting the round done or getting the deal done, but think about how do we partner with this company over time have become the most valuable partners. And this is a small industry. We're in a small space. Everyone circles in the same circles. So, you know, the fact that there are, you know, financial partners who are, you know, willing to stick it out to be there when it's not as easy to raise money or when there's businesses under challenge and provide advice around that. Those are the things to look for because when times are good, there are lots of people who wanna be your friend. 
It's those that are going to be there when times get tough, when you need strategic advice, when selling your story isn't a slam dunk to every investor that you meet. Those are the real partners, and that's who you should look for um, as a strategic advisor. So, Mark, uh, you've clearly had your pulse on what's happening next. Uh, what's exciting to you now in the industry, you know, beyond the work that you're doing at Double Verify? And where do you think innovation and value will be created next? Yeah, I, you know, look, I, I've been in the ad supported universe for so long that, you know, most of my excitement generally has to do with things that have to do with advertising um, uh, and digital advertising. So, I think when I look at, um, opportunities and growth down the road. Um, it's the gradual move away from uh, people-based engagement and people-based measurement um, and looking for other proxies around that. So as we look towards more outcome-driven advertising, companies that are in that space that look at outcomes, and we've been talking about that for a long time, but I think now the move away from cookies and identifiers and towards other ways of capturing performance are really coming to the forefront. So the companies that are looking at that, I think are, are really exciting, uh, as well as um, the continued growth of cross-screen engagement, not just from a metrics perspective, but from a consumer reach expect, uh, perspective. So the idea that uh, consumers more than ever, and since the pandemic at even greater numbers, have now become very fluid in their ability to move from screen to screen um, and to ingest not just text-based content, but video content um, seamlessly across platforms. Uh, the companies that are in that space that are not only tracking that activity, but learning how to engage with users um, across all those screens are, are, are exciting opportunities for, for both companies like mine who want to partner with them, but also for investors who are looking for growth opportunities.